I'm going to read a newish poem um, that I've never read. It's called That'll Teach You. It's actually a translation from the Italian. In, in Italian, it would be Così si fai. And, um, and in English, it's That'll Teach You. That'll Teach You. There was, in fact, an end to desire. It took a hammer in several hideous small towns, but by the time they had gotten to within miles of the sea, she could think of him as something blunt and almost obviously wrong. He kissed her in the motel lobby, which was the size of a car, and said, I love you, do you believe me? <laughs> what she said in response was hung on a hook beside her ID card and an absurdly heavy key. Mere miles, but the <coughs> bus route was complicated. From here to the shoreline, the stained concrete buildings were nothing but borders for huge seedless fields, and the route's lack of sidewalk was treacherous. Not worth it, not worth it, he had often repeated to the back of her neck. By now, the many warnings they had previously encountered were furious. The sudden hail, for instance, when they walked through any church door, or the boy with no parents who came to find them on a train. He said, you can't have everything, but she could, so she invited him up to her room. Neither of them thought of the sea. The walls of the motel were painted with mermaids who had been strangled inside fishnets, but no one in that whole town thought of the sea. The mermaids' eyes looked like pushpins. It seemed she had failed to reassure them by saying, I'll be happy enough with just the top of his head, or one hand, or one finger from that hand in my mouth. Each part of his body had waited patiently for its turn, but the fact remained that if she tried now to get out from beneath him, she would not have succeeded. The motel and an elementary school beside it faced the highway. Once confronted, he admitted, it's true, I don't love you, though he continued to hold down her arms. And if she had screamed, but what? So instead, let his tongue smash the rim of her mouth. She hadn't known what she wanted until she stopped wanting was the more popular theory among those circulating between the old men in the rooms next to hers. But the shit brown bedspread had its own theory, which was that everything would change if he were inside her. I'm not here, she told him, without allegiance to her body. And he said, here or not, it doesn't matter. Oh, didn't it, said the mermaids with their bubblegum breasts. The difference between kissing and tearing his ear off had become irreconcilable, unforgiving. His ugliness was so plain as to be dazzling, although that too they would have to find.